Hello class. Uh, we yesterday, if you remember, we have started the topic logic gets. Yeah, I could not send the notes to you last night because of some network problems. Uh, but what I will do today, when I will make pre prepare the notes, I will make sure that yesterday's portion is also covered in today's one. Right. So today, when you get the notes, basically you watch yesterday's video once. And also you watch today's video. I'm not going to do uh, a longer session with you. It will be a short video. Fine. Uh, we have started. We have started logic gates. I told you that these gates are basically the circuits, which are imaginary circuits, which are used to generate various kinds of output. Fine. And they basically represent the basic gates. We studied. There is a thing called basic gates. They are basically used to represent various kinds of operators that are used in Boolean algebra. Like we learned NOT GET. What was NOT GET? NOT GET was like this. If a current X comes, then it produces the output X complement. We studied about OR GET. What was OR? OR GET looks like this. If we pass two currents, A and B, then we get the output. And we learned another thing called AND GET. Okay, what was AND GET? AND GET was like this, like a broken capsule, you know? Fine. And if you pass two currents A and B, then you are going to get A dot B. I told you this yesterday also, for example, instead of two, if we pass three currents A, B, C, then output also becomes A plus B plus C. Or here if it is A dot B, okay, for two inputs, if I have four inputs A, B, C, D, then output also will be A dot B dot C dot D. Fine. Now these gates, these three gates are called basic gates. Fine. These basic gates are basically combined to get another kinds of gates, they are called derived gates. Okay, basic gates and derived gates. What is derived gates? There is one derived gate called NAND. Okay, NAND is basically a combination of NOT and AND. NOT get and AND get combined together, it is called NAND. What is NAND get? NAND get looks like this. AND get was like this. Look at this. So it will be like AND. It will be like AND. But there will be a circle here. This circle is taken from the not gate. Fine. So this is a NAND. So AND and NAND, there is only one difference. There is a circle here and there is no circle here in AND. Fine. So if you pass two currents A and B, NAND will give you, the output will be, you will get A dot B and also you will get a whole complement like this. So NOT AND. This is the NOT. Not means complement, not of AND, A dot B. That is what is the output produced by NAND gate. Similarly, there is another thing called NOR gate. What happens in case of NOR? NOR gate looks like this. It is OR gate and a circle here. Right? That means it is taken from the OR gate, this part, and the circle is taken from the NOR gate. It, is, it stands for NOT and OR. Not and OR get combined together. So basically what will happen? If I pass two currents A and B, then I'm going to get A plus B and also a full complement. That is what is the output produced by NOR gate. And there is another thing called ZOR gate, X O R. XOR gate actually has not much to do with the other gates, it's a very different kind of a gate. What happens is, ZOR gate is represented like this. If you pass two currents, for example A and B, then it produces an output A B complement plus A complement plus B. A complement B. A B complement and A complement B. Fine? And there is a last one called X nor get. X nor get is an opposite of this. That means if we reverse this current by using a not get, 
then we are going to get x not z. What happens in x not z? x not z is like this, something like this. Look at this. It will be only a circle we will put there. If you pass two currents, A and B, A current and B current, then the output will be AB plus A complement and B complement. That will be the output produced by X not z. So these all gets basically I will draw the diagram because doing the diagram drawing in computer will be difficult. So I will draw them in, the piece, in a piece of a paper and the today's notes I will basically send you by clicking the photo of the pages from the notebook. Right? So these all are the gets. Fine. Now I am just keeping these three gets on the board and removing this for time. Okay, because let us do one or two diagrams using this. For example, how the question will be given, draw a logic diagram or logic gate diagram, same thing, draw a logic gate diagram, circuit diagram for f x, y, z equal to say x, y y z complement okay and say i need z x okay x y y z complement and z x fine so there are three input currents given to me there are three basically currents here x y and z and they will combine these ways so how do you do it look at this since x i am using many times i have used many two times y i use two times Z also I use two times because from Z only I get Z complement. So that is how it's better that you draw the main currents like this X current, Y current, and Z current. Now, how can you make it X, Y? X, Y means X dot Y. So X dot Y, this kind of output you can see is given by AND. Rate. So if you pass two currents X and Y through one, and then what will happen? We will get x dot y. Now y z complement. Achha, how to get z complement? z complement is very simple. Look at this z current. I will reverse the current by using a voltage. So I will get z complement. And another component to work was look at this y here. y dot z complement. So let us take y also. This is my y. Okay. So if I pass it through another hand gate, then what am I going to get? I am going to get y dot z complement, just like this. And finally I got z x means z dot x. So one current you can say pulled, this is z current and this is my x current. If I again pass them through one hand gate, then what will happen? I will get z dot x. So look at this, I got these individual terms through circuit diagram. Now only thing I have to get the plus sign. So I was telling you that A and B, if there are two currents pass through orbit, we get A plus B. Similarly, if you pass three currents, A, B, C, then we will get A plus B plus C. So same thing, look at this, we are doing here. This current, imagine it is A, this is B and this is C. I took these three currents. And I pass them through one orbit. Then what are they? I'll get it. Okay. Now the question may arise, you might be surprised in that why did I draw these lines suddenly? Basically, imagine if I did not do it, then what I have to do? I have to draw these three lines, I have to pass through one orbit. So I have to draw this big orbit. So one orbit is so big and angles are so small, the diagram would have looked weird. Fine. That is why what I have done, I just cleverly just brought these currents together. Fine. By bending this wire, I am just bringing them closer to each other so that my gate size is not that big. Fine. Nothing else. So you understood how to draw the diagram? Okay. Another diagram I can show you similar to this, which will be very simple. Look at this. Now say we have got a diagram like this. Say I will be given x plus y plus z complement and x complement y z. 
these two things are needed. So there is a dot in here. So once again I will take x current, y current, z current. Okay. Now x full x current. See, first of all I try to make x plus y plus z common. So this is my x, this is my y, and z complement. I can pass z z current through a not get in order to make it z complement. Now you can use these three currents and passing through one plus sign I can get that means I will use or get because through or get if I pass then only I can get plus sign. So this is my x, this is my y, and this is my z complement. So obviously here I will get x plus y plus z complement. And another current was x complement. X current passed through not get will give me x complement, y current, and z current. Again, I'm just drawing the line this way so that I don't have to draw a very big gets. So I'm just cleverly bringing the lines together. So here is all get which is giving me x complement plus y plus z. So I got this current and I got this current. I have to get a dot sign in between. So what shall I do? I will bring them close to each other and I will pass it through one and get. Because if I pass it through and get what will happen? I will get dot in between these two. That is how I am going to get F. So this is how we can draw very simple circuit diagrams using the gates. Today I will not tell you much, okay, because yesterday's notes I could not give, so you have to watch yesterday's videos uh, along with the notes given today, plus these all, okay, so prepare yesterday's and today's part. Tomorrow we will see how we can make logic gate diagrams using the derived gates, the other the three gates that I erased from the board.